I'm Heather Donald and I'm Director of Onshore Wind, Solar and Battery and we're here today at Mount Fryston to witness the start of the construction of what is the biggest battery um, in the UK at the moment at 320 megawatts. This is going to be capable of powering half a million homes for a two hour period when it's completed early in 2026. Yeah, so we looked at the project right from the start. Um, we're trying to minimise the amount of waste. Um, it supports our ESG uh, measures that we're, we're very closely monitored by, and it's the right thing to do for the environment. So we wanted to minimise waste to the project, and the whole stabilisation process that we've been through has meant that we've we've had to send nothing to waste. We've actually we've used a special technique to re-engineer the ground, solidify it effectively, and we're building on top of that. So we've imported stone, but we've we've sent nothing to waste, which is uh, massively beneficial. To us. So battery storage is a really important part of the jigsaw in the drive for net zero and we try and decarbonise the energy system so it's a way of storing energy when the wind isn't blowing and when the sun isn't shining and it you know, enables us to use that um, so it's a really critical part of that, that journey to net zero. The battery equipment will start arriving in early December, so we've got we've got a fair amount of work to, to kick off now with uh, screw piling and foundations, etc. The batteries will then start appearing in uh, in January and February. Uh, hopefully, everything will be energised towards the end of next year with the project completion in the early part of 2026. So great for me to meet the team and start to understand some of the issues that they're facing, um, and just watch some of the progress that they're making.